So one of the things that uh, Microsoft PowerPoint has been evolving over time with is this ability to insert video into a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, you know, we, you can see through here. I have uh, different options. I can insert a table, a chart, smart art, pictures, online images, which are pictures. But that last option is to insert a video. And as you can imagine, if I click on it, I get a dialog box that appears. Now, I can actually go on and I can find YouTube videos that I want to include in my PowerPoint presentation, which is pretty nice, as you can imagine. Well, what happens if I don't want to use YouTube? I don't like. YouTube, I like Daily Motion or Vimeo or World Star. Okay, whatever your you know cup of tea is, as long as I'm able to embed video from it, this actually allows me to do that. If I happen to have a file on my computer, I can actually use the browse button, and that'll allow me to look for it. Now, if we take a look, I'm on my Flam Train station. So if I select my Flam Train and I hit insert, that's going to let it appear on my screen. And now, if I want to test this out for a second, I can. And I know it looks a little hazy, but oh, look at that! Hey, fancy. Well, that allows me to kind of run through it. Maybe I want to change it a little bit. You can notice I can actually select the pay, the playback option over here, and that lets me change how I want it to look. Maybe I don't want to give it volume. Uh, you know, it's a little loud. Uh, so maybe I want to select mute. Maybe now when I run it, you hear nothing. So that's actually kind of pretty cool uh, in itself. Or uh, I can actually change things around. I can actually uh, go in and I can trim the video. Maybe instead of showing all of it, I don't like that black that appears in the beginning, so I can get rid of that and I can start just a hair from it. When I hit OK, look at that. We get now uh, Flamsbana. And now when I play it, well, it still doesn't. Okay, so maybe the, that's a little bit of the encoding issue that I can't deal with uh, while I'm working with you guys. But as you can see, I can start to play around with this a little bit more. So another thing that I can do is I can actually change the poster frame. Maybe, you know, if I look at this, this is pretty boring. It's, you know, just that. But I can select poster frame and I can actually uh, change what I want it to be. So an image from a file, for example. This is just like your YouTube videos where you see an image that's not part of the video. It's a custom thumbnail, so you can select that. Or you can actually uh, change it to the current frame. Well, if I kind of click around here, let's say I like that. I like the Flams Bana appearance. I can go and say, make this my current frame. And so now, when I run this, that's exactly what I see. I see the Flams Bana uh, train. Now, how do I play this? Well, as you can see, as I mouse over it, I get this little uh, thing that appears. And I can then have it playing in the background. Again, the blacking thing, that's just because uh, I'm trying to you know, stream the video as I click it, so it, whatever. So as you can see, that allows me to then, in turn, kind of apply that stuff to it. And I can go in, I can do other things. I can give it borders, I can give it shapes, for example. Uh, so if I really want to go fancy with this, you know, I can give it an X. Don't, you know, don't go, don't, don't, don't go crazy with these things, guys. You know, try and, again, keep your PowerPoints pretty simple.